estate listing is often the first impression buyers get of a home. So whether it's a blurred living room, a messy backyard, or this, a sitting room that could use a lot more light. Listings play an important role in buying or selling a home, and photos like these leave a lot to the imagination. Joining us now in studio is real estate expert Sandra Minamato. You were laughing when you saw those pictures. <laughs> okay, I'm angry inside, yeah. though. Come on, realtors, get some professional photographers out there and some lighting. I can't stand it when you have a picture of a, a dark living room. You can't see anything, but maybe this vague outline of a couch because it's sitting in front of a window and the backlight makes everything dark. How important is the listing? Oh, it's incredibly important. First of all, it gives you all of the information you need to make an offer. So the seller's name, the legal description, the price, the terms, uh, the, the size of the lot, everything that you need to put down on paper to make the offer. But it's also a marketing tool. So you have to use it to entice buyers to come to see the and, property. And pictures like that, the ones we just don't do that. No, they don't. And they're, those those realtors, I'm sorry, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for this, but they're Go not ahead. doing the seller. I am, because I'm. this is a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> they're not doing the seller justice. So to all the sellers out there, please ask to see either previous listings to see how your home will be marketed or and definitely ask to see your listing. And if you're not happy with the photos, ask for better photos. Absolutely. You know what? I came from a long background of retail and I remember somebody tell me, telling me as people walk through the mall and they look over here at your store and look over there, you have three seconds to capture their attention to get them into the store. And it's the same thing with the listing. People are surfing the internet anonymously from around the world. You have to, as a realtor, position your listing or as a seller in a way that captures the attention. If they're clicking through, next, next, you have about three seconds to get them to stop at your listing and start reading it. And so language comes into play, mm -hmm. um, room sizes, room descriptions, things that buyers might want to learn, and you learn as you go along, um, combined with. So you see this large room, you go, wow, that's a really big dining room. And then you realize it's combined with the living room. You know, it's a long, right. so quite often they're long, rectangular shapes, so it's combined with. Um, other language that you might want to become familiar with is cozy, cute. <laughs> yeah, what is cozy? What does that mean? Small. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's so realtor nice speak for small. Um, some of the other ones that are good. First time offered in 30 years. Original owners. Okay, to me that says, look, at, they haven't renovated. Because first time offered in 30 years, they renovated two years ago. That doesn't happen. <laughs> that's, exa that's exactly it. And people want to be able to see themselves in these places. You've said that so many times oh, yeah. before, which means keep it clean, keep it open, keep it airy, keep it light. So don't take photos when the room is messy or there's a big piece of furniture blocking or a really, really busy carpet because when it, look at the digital photos, so much easier now than when we used to have to use film. Look at the digital photos. If it didn't turn out well, reposition the furniture just to be able to show to the buyers exactly what they might see when they go there because I'm seeing more and more, Marcy, people think they can buy real estate online. It's crazy. I mean, if you see the exterior front of the house and they're shooting from an angle, chances are it's because there's a really unattractive apartment building behind it or hydro towers. Um, you know, some other language. Attention, builders, renovators. That means it's probably a house that's a teardown not something that your typical family can just move in. It's not move-in ready. Separate entrance to basement. That means there might be a basement apartment, but perhaps in that mun municipality, it's not legal to have basement apartments. But people are still looking for them. So that would say to me, you know, there's a basement apartment there. Um, You've got so many tips, Sandra. We're going to stop you there. But these, oh. these are fantastic. And I like you a little angry. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Thank you so much. Sandra's got tons of tips. And you can read more on her blog. And that blog is on our website.